its name featured list to this unordered list and now this unordered list is actually mapped by the DOM it's actually uh, included by the DOM to the map but now the DOM doesn't actually know that it has to go to this HTML template and then it will have to place those unordered lists that unordered list into this handler then what we do before we tell the DOM to place those uh, place that unordered list into this HTML template what we need to do is to list uh, include all these titles to encapsulate them inside list elements and then we will have to include them inside this unordered list so how do we do that first we run this loop we uh, assign we actually declare and assign an i variable or this is uh, a short form for index so we assign zero to this variable then we go back to this JSON titles. Now this uh, variable is no longer a simple variable, but it's an array. It has turned into an array. If you look carefully into this JSON file, and if you look at the syntax, this syntax is actually the syntax that's used in JavaScript array formation. So in JavaScript, you usually go for creating an array like this, maybe uh, like this. Yep. So that's how you create an array. Now this array doesn't contain any sort of elements. It's an empty array. But because as I already uh, as I already told you that this JSON is a special form or a special formatted file, you can only include the uh, element syntax along with the you, you can only include the array syntax. Sorry, and also the elements in that should be contained inside this array so because we have polished our raw json data and because our json data is also an array this polished array will now cr create an array inside this json titles variables so in terms our json titles variable it has also become an array so we can use that json titles variable as an array so what we are essentially doing in here we are applying a property on this array so this length property can be used to count the number of elements that's contained inside the array so we can count this from here one two three four five so we have got five elements inside this raw JSON array but inside this this JSON titles has uh, this array contains a polished JSON array and now because it contains a polished JSON array we can use it um, like any other normal array that's used inside a JavaScript file so we use this length property to we apply this length property to this JSON titles so our compiler when it compiles the code it will count the number of array that's contained inside this title or inside this title this is a this is just the same thing so this will count the number of elements that's contained inside this JSON titles array and when it sees that it has got five elements it will replace that uh, this entire expression by five and I guess you know the rest of the part and how this uh, increment is operating. I set this index by zero. The initial value is zero because we all know that array counting starts from zero. And this is the condition. So I'm telling the compiler that run as long as you get the maximum number of JSON titles or run um, as long as you get five, all of this, and run as long as. Uh, you get all of these um, elements from this array and then I'm telling it to increment this variable this variable each time you run through this array so this is just the basic part of the JavaScript and now this important part comes in so what is this part doing now this featured list has uh, got something interesting uh, stuff in here first we create an unordered list then we add a featured list so if you remember if you have some sort of knowledge about jQuery I mean I'm not saying that you will have to have that but let me just explain it in a little detail in here 
this wrapper function which is known as the wrapper function or the selector um, or the selector you can actually head over to the documentation of this chair io so you can see you can have a look at this documentation that cheers uh, cheer ios selector implementation is nearly identical to jQuery's, so the api is very similar so this is a selector function now let's get back to the script so this selector function it's creating an ul element then what it does it returns that ul element so that uh, it we can use it to for uh, to apply further stylings to apply further functionality to it but if you do not have this like this which is you can actually omit this part when the compiler reaches the semicolon then it will stop waiting for uh, it will actually stop waiting to receive any other functionality that needs to be added inside this unordered list so Usually what it does after it has created this unordered list in this context in this file obviously After it has created this unordered list it will wait For us to tell it that we want to include further functionality and how do we do that? We just We just include a dot and then and then obviously we use the add class method or uh, the add class function sorry um, this add class function and then we pass in an argument this argument will actually add this is the name that we want uh, that we want to include inside this ul element class so as i was talking about this will now have something like this evil class featured list this thing won't actually in uh, exist inside our html template but we are tricking the uh, browser to think that it actually exists so that's the sense of jquery but uh, i'm just showing you that this will this is how the browser will